we, the commissioners, became aware from staff that Central Maine Power had sent disconnection notices to at least two customers who are refusing to pay their opt-out fee portion of their bills. Um, these were both appealed to our Consumer Assistance Division, we refer to as the uh, CAD. Since that time, the law court issued its decision remanding the health and safety issue to the commission, and the commission opened a full adjudicatory investigation into that issue. Um, the, also since that time, the complainants in the 10-person complaint have moved for reconsideration of several issues in the law court on their appeal. One of the issues that the complainants asked the law court to reconsider is their request to stay the opt-out fee. And that motion is currently pending before the law court. With that motion for reconsideration pending in the law court, and with this investigation open, I believe that the commission should stay execution of any disconnections pending the outcome of the investigation. This action would not relieve the customers of their obligation to pay or any other charges that would accrue under the tariff. It would mean that pending our further process that no customers will be dis disconnected during the time period of our investigation if they refuse to pay the opt-out portion of their fee. Ready? The PUC's decision today to stay the disconnect fees for people who are choosing not to pay the opt-outs is just legally sanctioned extortion that allows CMP to continue to collect these uh, illegal fees, and we believe that they're illegal based on the Maine Supreme Court's decision that this whole case had to be remanded back to the PUC uh, because they did not follow state statute by requiring that CMP have safe devices. We believe them not to be safe, and, and now that it's going back to the PUC to be determined whether this is safe, those fees should be stayed altogether. This is not a matter of not having the money to pay. This is a matter of principle, of not wanting to pay for something that is potentially harmful to me, so I choose not to. In fact, that's probably what I am going to be putting into words in, in, a, in a CAD uh, uh, plea, uh, stating exactly that, that, um, that not only do I not want to be disconnected, I don't want to be charged until such times as it's decided whether smart meters are safe or dangerous. $40 is an initial fee for not having a smart meter. That was just an additional $12. So every month, that's the, that's the monthly fee for not having a smart meter. And every month that I refuse to pay it, they're adding a small interest charge to that. They also told me that, um, the, that, that, that when it says on the bill, pay this by, let's use a date, let's pay, let's pay it by August of 15th. And when I pointed that out to them at one point, they said, well, that's not actually your, your payment day. Your payment day is four days before that. That's just the grace period we give you. And I said, it doesn't say anything on the bill about that at all. And they said, well, it's just what we do. But your actual payment, your due date is four, seven days before that or something like that. And then they, then they told me, and it also takes seven to ten days to process your payment. And I said, yeah, but if you've received it by then, and that's why they said, well, we received it a day late. And I said, no, it couldn't have the mail. And she said, no, well, that wasn't, that wasn't this month's due date. This month's due date was the day before that. The, the person will tell me they will, they will contact me or they will send me a letter. They don't send me a letter. I may get a form. I got once uh, three pages, uh, uh, three printed pages of terms and conditions, you know, totally non-personal letter in, in response to a letter I, I would waited a week for. I didn't see that as enough, so I sent a formal letter to CMP's corporate office as well as the business office, you know, all the addresses I could find, stating that I did not want one. And there, had I not been there, the woman said, it's really good you were, because otherwise you would have a smart meter on your house today. Today, when I asked him after the deliberation, do I understand it that you haven't decided anything about anything except that you that, that that CMP will be instructed to not disconnect anyone for uh, for not paying their opt out fees? And he said yes. And I said and so there's there's nothing to stop CMP from take from taking me to small claims court or from from sending a, a credit report. On, on me as, as being a bad credit or, or anything, and he said, no, that's right, they, they can do that. And I 
as you may have noticed, was very disappointed to hear that because it's great not to be under the threat of, of having my electricity disconnected, but I'm, uh, I'm in the process of trying to refinance uh, my mortgage. And, and so it, it's a great concern to me that they could also con conceivably um, uh, ruin those chances. Um, but I'm, I'm not going to pay. Anyhow, <laughs> I'm still not going to pay. And, uh, and I, I'm fully aware that if it's not decided in the end that, that this should not have happened, I will owe them a lot of money. And at that point, uh, after all is said and done, I will have to pay that, but not now.